with Texas Know How again. I wanted to show you something today on the 96 Land Cruiser that uh, I've been noticing. And basically, I think it has a bad battery. This battery is pretty old. It's an interstate battery. I really like interstate batteries, but it is pretty old. It's the one that was in it when I bought it, you know, four or five years ago, and it looked old at that point. But if you have this situation where you think, you know, when you idle at night, your lights get a little dimmer, and if you give it gas, your lights get back bright, that's usually a bad battery, and you're having to run mostly off your alternator and not off just the battery. If you also pull up at night and you shut off your engine and the lights get a little dimmer, that means the alternator is constantly trying to charge that battery and keeping that voltage up so your lights look good when it's on, but when you turn the alternator off, the battery's on its own, it just can't handle it. So there's a couple things you can do. One is you can get this. Now this is probably $45 at Vanced Auto or one of those places. And it's good to have, and it's a load tester. What this does is you hook this up to your battery while the engine's running and it will show you if your charging system's good as well as if it thinks the battery's good because it'll look at the voltage of the battery. So that's good if you want to get one of these and get the instructions. Also, most of those places, they want to sell you a new battery, so they'll do this for you. Um, and you don't have to buy it. But something that a lot of people aren't aware of, my dad used to have one of these and I just didn't know what it was, but it's a hydrometer. And this is going to check the specific gravity of the solution in each one of the cells. And what's good about that is it can tell by the specific gravity if that cell is holding its charge. Now most of these 12 volt batteries, you've got six cells across there. So let's pull up here and look at this. And the instructions on the back of this say if any one of the cells differs by 30 points, the battery's probably bad. Um, so you guys can watch. You're going to have to get in here kind of close. And I'll, I'll suck up. Also, I want to just tell you, you're dealing with battery acid, so I've got these rubberized gloves on, and I've got safety glasses on. So be, be sure to be safe on this. You really don't want to get this on your clothes, so I'm going to show you my technique. I go down in here, make sure it's submerged. Actually, before you get in there, push this bolt all the way flat like that. Get down in here and get some, get some uh, of the liquid. Fill up in here, let it fill up slowly. You can see it filling up there. Okay, now the thing you got to do is just tilt this over to where the top is straight and you're going to look at your reading and that one's in the good reading it's on 1.275 so for that cell I think we're good I'm going to push the water the liquid back out not letting this splash I'm going to bring it right to the top here and get that out because you don't want to transfer liquid between them either okay now let's check this one let it fill up you have to get the water it really wants the water to be all the way up here but as long as you completely cover that that dial that's moving right here, can you see it? Right here, it's on 1.275 again. So those two measured exactly the same specific gravity. That's good news so far. Let's see what happens. We'll keep going. We're just gonna work our way across this battery. Obviously, you want the battery water level inside the acid level to be sufficient. Okay, here's, let's see what this one does. Now this one is down a little when I look at this. I'm going to shake any air bubbles out. Look at that. It's down at 1.25. Now, the 30 points they're talking about are these last uh, points over here. So 25 to 75, you're already 50 points off. So we know our battery is probably bad. This is our, that's our situation right there, is that cell is having problems. Okay, now we'll keep going. We might have more than one. I'm going to let that fill up. It's drawing it in. Okay. And then I'm going to tap this. And see, that one's good. It's back to where the first two were. So we'll push that liquid back out. I'm going to move really gently over to the next one. Pull in some liquid. And again, holding this straight, kind of jar it a little bit. That one looks good. So, so far we have one cell that's bad. And that's all it takes. That's why it's probably been making it this long, is with, without me going crazy, is it'll still start the car. And it'll still run all the appliances, uh, the, the, the uh, things on it, like the lights. And look at that one. That one's doing great. So that one actually is up almost off the scale. I wonder if I didn't get enough juice in it. Let's try that again. Because usually... They don't 
go that high. Okay, here we go. I didn't get it completely submerged. Okay, so it's just like the other ones. So we had one down here in the middle of the fair, and all the rest of them were in good. So that's our problem, is the battery has gone bad, and finally it, it got to a certain age. What happens is the plates inside these cells will eventually get corrosion between them, and when they get corrosion between them, they don't work as well. And uh, that's what's at the end of your life of your battery. So again, be very careful with this stuff. Now I know I've got a bad battery, and it's going bad, it's going bad. I've got time to get to the, my favorite interstate battery sales place and get a new battery. But there you go. That costs $4.95. So anybody can check their battery. All right, till next time, this is Clay in Texas. Bye. We'll see you.